that got magic thighs that have been cussed all out because they stupid. I got another weasel in Gilbert who, another one of his teammates that know him, said the exact same story that I said. <laughs> See, ain't long fake motherfuckers can pretend. See? See, he can't come at Richard Jefferson. I'm glad that brother talked like this so he could articulate it different. He didn't use one curse word, so they can't say he's mad. They can't say he's crazy because he talks like this and he's very proper. He's articulate. He's shaven. He has no hair on his face, so you got to look at him and respect what he's saying. <laughs> so he said the same shit I said, okay? So Gilbert, your weak weasel ass on the docket. Then, boy, you want to text me the other day and show me how you taking care of Javaris in jail. See, I don't like niggas like you. How did you treat the man on the streets, you stupid ass boy? How come it seems like you like him more that he's arrested and locked up, locked away, than you did when he was in the locker room with you? Because in the locker room with you, how much respect did you give him? Did you give him enough respect to shut your goddamn mouth or pay the money that you owed or let it slide? Did you give him enough respect to do that? Nah. You put guns out, you acted tough. Now that he's no competition, locked away and in jail, because you see in a couple dollars that you throw away the strippers anyway, you think that means something? You a weirdo, boy. I told you, niggas like you a weirdo. You give money to girls in the strip club, and some of them giving you a gift back. <laughs> Some of them strippers giving you a gift back, boy. You paying for BB sometime. Allegedly, I think I snapped. Are you want to sit here and think that it means something that you gave Javar some money that he a 